Hey guys, uh, welcome to this week's review of Portia Family Matters Season 1, Episode 6. Wow, wow. Now, listen, I have not been keeping up with the tea with Portia and her family. Now, you know, I'm on YouTube and other stuff, so I do see the headlines. Something about Storm speaking out about Dennis and Storm speaking out about Portia and Portia speaking out about Dennis and Dennis is speaking out about Portia and it's just like, oh my God. (laughs) I don't, you know, when it comes to tea, I do like tea, but I think especially when the show it's on Like, I don't like too much tea because I'm not a big fan of spoilers. I like to kind of just watch the show and see things, how they unfold. Because I notice when I keep up with the gossip, by the time the season comes around, you know everything that's going to happen. So it does sort of, for me personally, it may not, for some people, it may get them interested in the show. Right, I think a little bit gets me interested, but then when it's too much, it's like, I don't know. It's like, what's the point of watching it if I already know everything that's going to go down? So I've kind of like removed myself from the mess and probably, what, I think there's like eight episodes. I'm not too sure. So when the season is done, I may go back and see what everybody says. But for some reason, I don't know, I just have not had the interest. So... Keep in mind with my review, there may be gaps in my information. And if you guys keep up with the tea, you're going to be like, well, no, this happened and actually that happened and you got it wrong. And And you're probably right. I probably will get it wrong. But I'm just going to go off based what I see in the episode. So forgive me if I don't know everything. (laughs) Okay. That was a pretty long disclaimer, and let's get right into the review. Um, So the episode starts off with the fight, and I'm going to be honest with you. I have absolutely, okay, I wouldn't say I have no clue, but I, I, I'm, cl- I'm pretty close to having no clue what went down, right? I know Portia obviously was... I don't know if Portia, I guess because the security guard and Simon and the cameraman, there was like so many people within that area blocking our view. So there is a lot that we did not see, right? So, okay, let me try to put this together. We know that Portia was involved in the fight, right? We know that Dennis was involved in the fight. We know that Dennis's mom, Gina, was involved in the fight. And we also know that Storm was involved in the fight which is pretty weird to me because I do not know why Storm got up from the table right when Portia was kicking Dennis out I don't know why she had to get up and stand by Portia I don't know if Storm was trying to leave and kind of just got caught in the commotion right but it seems like Storm was talking back too right so the initial fight involved those four parties like pretty much Portia and Storm versus Dennis and his mom right now I I don't know how the fight got started um we're probably gonna find out later on it's probably in the blogs there's probably he said she said whatever it is but from what I've seen of that the scene of what I've seen of the scene it's not too clear because yeah, I see Portia sticking her hands out, right? But we're only we're only kind of getting a clear view of Portia and Dennis, right? And Portia is throwing glasses and bottles and just oh my god, being a mess basically. Dennis is also being a mess, right? Cuz Dennis, it seemed like Dennis was trying to hit Portia as well right which is pretty effed up even if I mean I don't know I can't tell somebody what to do if you feel like somebody was attacking your mom right 
I guess some people will say, well, you have to defend your mom. But I would say you should pull your mom out of the situation, right? You know, you would try to, like, shield your mom from being attacked if she was being attacked by another woman. You wouldn't then, you wouldn't go and punch the other woman. I just personally, that's how I feel, right? And if someone is telling you to get the F out of their party, you know, especially if you're a man and you have a woman telling you to get the F out of their party, it's probably a great idea to just get the F out of their party, like, I don't know why you need to argue with someone who's telling you to get out. You know, just if you don't want me here, fine, leave, right? I don't know why he was arguing back and forth. So I feel like him and Portia, I guess a lot of people are to quote unquote blame. But of course, the two biggest parties to be blamed is Portia and Dennis, because I don't know why they're... I feel like they they egged each other on, right? There were several points throughout the dinner where one of them could have de-escalated. But instead of doing that, they just kept going and going and going. And it was a lot. It really was. And uh, I know I said in my earlier reviews that I do kind of like the chemistry between Dennis and Portia, right? I guess because, you know, as an audience... We only kind of see the good moments. Well, to be fair, there wasn't really much good moments between them, right? But I guess you could tell that they still had feelings for each other, right? And if someone has feelings for each other, plus they have a child, you kind of do want them to work, right? You are, in, in a way, rooting for them. Nobody wants to see a family be broken, but that whole scene there made me, I mean, I've been feeling like this. And to be honest, I, I've been feeling like this from the beginning with Dennis. But uh, now especially, yeah, they don't, they don't need to get back together. They really don't. And I don't know if I should say allegedly, okay? Right? It's not even allegedly. This is my opinion, I want to make this clear. This is my opinion. This is not fact. I'm not saying this is what is. This is just the vibe I am getting. Uh, okay. I don't, I definitely think Portia and Dennis do not need to be together. One, verbally, I feel like verbally, it is kind of abusive. And um, I'm just going to say it. Physically, I don't know. I don't want to say it, but I'm getting that vibe. I can, I mean, it did get physical right there, right? And I can definitely see Portia getting mad and maybe throwing stuff. And I can definitely see Dennis getting mad and maybe putting his hands where his hands shouldn't be put in. <laughs> I mean, that's not funny, but that's the energy I'm getting from him. The more I see of him, the more I'm like, yeah, I'm not... I, He's giving me kind of physically abusive. I'm not saying that's what it is, but that's what it's giving in that scene. It, it really is. I, I, you know, and so, uh, Dennis, and uh, Portia, I don't know. It's like, I don't know, maybe because I'm attracted to Portia, right? Portia, she is very beautiful. And Portia does have a way about her where she comes off not necessarily naive, but maybe more so youthful, right? And when someone has a youthful sort of energy to them, you may associate that with, yeah, you may associate that with naivete or them being immature or whatever, right? So you kind of... When it comes to Portia, it's like I see the bad that she does, but it, I don't know. It's kind of like, okay, well, she's just immature, right? But then when you think about it, it Portia's not in her early 20s, right? If if this was Storm, then I can be like, okay, yeah, she's young, whatever, whatever. Portia is in her 40s, okay? Portia has a child, Right. At some point, you do have to grow up and mature. And this is not the first physical altercation that we've seen her in. This is this is the fourth. Right. And there's probably more that we have not seen her get into. 
so it's like at this point you have to have some emotional intelligence right it's not every time someone pisses you off that you just black out and you start freaking out and throwing bottles and glasses right like I know I don't know whether she was trying to it seemed like she was definitely trying to aim at Dennis's mom like which is very very messed up and very low down right because at the end of the day you can have your little fight or whatever, but that's still going to be your daughter's grandmother. And it's like, how the hell are you going to come back from that? So why would you go that far? Even if Dennis's mom pushed Storm a little bit, right? Let's say Dennis's mom pushed Storm or shoved her or whatever. I mean, yes, that's not great. But you throwing bottles and glasses at her is not making the situation any better. It, it, what is that going to do, Right. And not only that, we have the cameraman, we have the producers, we have her, her family, we have like so many people in the vicinity that like, doesn't she think about like, what if the glass were to hit them, right? What if the glass was to hit the cameraman, right? And he would have got caught up or whatever, right? What if it the glass was to hit Storm or... or Aunt Liz, any of the people, because at the by the end of the scene, it seemed like the whole damn family was in, in the fight, right? I don't know whether or not they were trying to jump Dennis and his mom, or they were trying to break everybody up, but it was just a big, huge mess. Production was in the fight, the family was in the fight, everybody was in this damn fight, right? And we have to have several people kind of calm Portia down, like, relax, Portia, relax. And it actually really did remind me of the other times Portia got into a fight, right, with Kenya. Remember when she dragged Kenya? And then everybody kind of came, everybody kind of came around Portia to hold her down, right? All the, the ladies were like, calm down, Portia, calm down, Portia. Nini was putting her hand over Portia's mouth, telling her to shut up, <laughs> right? And remember when, Portia and Cynthia got into it. You know, they had to have another production person literally lay on top of Portia being like, stop, stop, stop. And that's pretty concerning to me that you would get to that point. You would become so enraged that you need several people to physically, physically hold you down. It, it, it's giving really unstable to me. Now, listen... The reason, okay, well, the reason that Portia gave for her being so upset and whatever, whatever, was because she was speaking about a time when she was pregnant and Dennis was cheating on her and blah, 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 blah. And listen, I don't have any kids, right? <laughs> so I've not been cheated on while I was pregnant. I can't imagine, I can't even imagine how devastating that must have been for Portia, right? But uh, listen, I don't care. I'm going to say this. If he cheated on you while you were pregnant, which is terrible, and I can understand why you you would 100% be upset. But you were willing to take him back. You were willing to get reengaged and you were willing to potentially marry this guy. Right? So, on some level, you must have forgiven him. Right? So I don't understand now, while you have a whole fiancé by your side, that you are so angry and so triggered and you can't control yourself. I'm not saying you shouldn't be upset, but... It, uh, it's just giving me low emotional intelligence. You can't control yourself. And then when you get caught up in it, you always have these excuses as to why you did it, and her whole, well, I want to apologize for any part that I played in it. Like, as if, it's like, okay, I get what you're trying to say, but when she says it, I kind of get the vibe that she's trying to remove herself from it. Like, I want to apologize for any part I played in it. That's the same sort of apology that she gave to Candy, right? When she spread that rumor about Candy, right? It's like, you didn't just play a part you 
played a major role in the conflict. A matter of fact, the conflict is really centered, centered around you and Dennis, right? This whole damn show is about you specifically, right? This whole reason, the whole reason for this retreat, family retreat, is for you and Dennis. So this is all about you. So you can't just say, I I apologize for the you know the part as if it's like this tiny little thing. No, you you are pretty much uh, okay. I'll I'll give I'll give see I'll be fair and I'll give fifty fifty. No, I'm not even gonna give a fifty fifty. I'm gonna say seventy thirty, right? Dennis was wrong, but I, I like I said they both escalated thing when they could have de de escalated, right? So. That was just a mess. Like I said, I don't know who threw the first punch, who shoved who, who pushed who, who pulled someone's hair. It's just really, it's like, at this point, everybody is grown. The only person I'm going to give a little bit of grace, just a tiny little bit of grace to, is Storm. Because she's in her early 20s. But all the rest of you guys, hell no. Right, and then I don't know if Storm's mom decided to jump into the fight, and then, and then Dom is like getting so upset and standing on top of tables and has a knife on his hand and is slamming the table and it's just like, oh my gosh! And Porch is like, oh, they're hurting my family. They're hurting my family. I just want to go home with my family. I just want to take my family home. It's like, Portia, I'm over her. <laughs> I'm I, I, I mean, I, I should have been over her a long time ago. I mean, she just keeps doing things over and over. and Like, she has a list of crap <laughs> that she does, so. Oh my gosh, Portia, Portia, Portia. So, you know, moving on to the next day, right? So obviously, obviously, Dennis, you know, his mom and his, I was going to say his slut, right? I don't, I'm not calling her a slut. I'm just thinking of what Portia said. Sorry, his girlfriend. I, I, I'm not calling her a slut. Let's just make that clear. I'm just not doing that, right? They go to Cancun. They they leave the scene, right? Obviously. Obviously. And even... Oh, yes. Portia even called Dennis's mom a bitch. Or did she call... I, something to that effect. I'm pretty sure that's what she called her. And it's like, you do know that's your daughter's grandmother, right? You do know that is your daughter's father. Like, I don't understand why you would take things to a place where... I mean, you can come back from, right? Because at the end of the day, you have no choice, right? You're going to have to find some resolution. But it's like, you just make things so much more difficult. And then more and more resentment starts to build off, build up. It's like, why did it, why did it have to go that far? And, and I agree with Lauren, both Dennis and Portia and everybody in the world, including myself, needs to get therapy, I, I, Portia needs to go back to that in, anger management of class, right? She may have just went twice, but she needs to go a third, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, a seventh, an eighth, a ninth, a tenth, and so on. She needs to go back, right? Because, no, like, there's going to be conflict in life, right? That's That can't be the way you always handle crap. Moving on, right? So Portia, she tells the family not to talk about the fight. Which, okay, fine, I, I get, it's real. I mean, it's embarrassing, it is, but at the end of the day, you're filming a show, <laughs> this is reality television, and even in real life, that wouldn't be healthy to just be like, yeah, we had this big brawl, but we're not gonna talk about it anymore, we're just gonna pretend it, no, that, that wouldn't be healthy, and that's not practical when you're filming a show, it has to be addressed, you can't, that has to be addressed, I'm sorry, like, did you guys watch that scene? We want to know, we want to know what the hell happened, you can't just ignore that, so Portia was kind of not too bright thinking that she was going to get away with telling her family not to discuss it, right, and it's like, you're putting everybody in a weird, awkward position, you know, 
So, I mean, they're doing that. The producer came out and really had to call them out. Like, you guys are not, what's going on? None of you guys are talking about it, right? Which I understand, because if I was the producer, I would be like, huh? No, this is not good. No, this is not going to (laughs) work. Right? So, uh, wow. It's just so much going on. Wow. So, yeah, they went, they did their whole meditation. The life coach comes. The life coach comes the last day, which is kind of weird to me because what was the point of that? What's the point of coming the last day? I, 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 I mean, she should have been there from the beginning. I think she could have actually been helpful because Lauren, I mean... <laughs> Oh my god, during that fight, you Lauren is like running back and forth. She's running to Dennis, like, stop, stop, stop. She's running to Portia, stop, stop, stop. She's back and forth, back and forth. And it's like, Lauren, it was just, oh my gosh, right? I think Aunt Liz was like, hello, spiritual leader, you know, guru, we need you. You need to fix this, right? And I don't blame Lauren but yeah, I mean, if this is your retreat, if this is your trip, if you are going to bring up difficult topics and deal with these things, you have to make sure that if you do see that things are getting heated, that you shut it down right away, right? That you shut it down and you deal with it. And it kind of felt like Lauren sort of sat back a little bit. But then I can also understand because everybody was yelling over each other and it was... It was very overwhelming. That's why I thought like the life coach would have been very helpful if she was there from the start or if she was there during that scene. I'm not saying that things wouldn't have went down the way that they ha- they did, but maybe she would have been able to kind of... Because yeah, when you're dealing with difficult topics, you have to make sure that boundaries aren't being crossed, that everybody can say how they feel and still be respectful of one another and I don't think that Lauren did the best job at ensuring that but she's new right so the pro could have been used not not I don't know why she was there the last day moving moving on moving on moving on so you know they did the whole meditation thing and then they went for the final dinner right And, you know, Simon is giving his little speech. You know, Simon is looking like a saint. Simon is looking like a saint. And like I said in my last review, if Simon is the most sane person at the table, then we got a problem. Okay, I wouldn't say that. I I like Aunt Liz. (laughs) Aunt Liz may be a bit more sane or a lot more sane than Simon, right? But Simon was like, oh, this is nothing. Oh, yeah, I would give that a level two you know I've seen a lot worse and listen maybe I think I've lived a sheltered life and therefore I am blessed thank you universe right because if that was a two come on now I know there's worse right I know that maybe there could be stabbings there could be shootings there could be fine I get that it could be a lot worse but really that was a two That was a two. Literally the whole family got into a brawl. And that was a two. And you've seen a lot worse. And he just has a straight face. Like, yeah, that was nothing. I don't want to say that's a red flag. (laughs) But I am a little bit curious. Like, um, hmm, Simon, were you a bystander in these fights? Were you involved in these fights? You know, were these fights centered around you? And, you know, I kind of want to know what fights that Simon seen and been involved in. I, You know, I'm kind of (laughs) curious. But okay, if that was a two, come on now. Don't be so tough. You got to give it at least a five, right? Or a six. Come on, a two? But okay, fine. So, you know, Simon says, I'm proud of you guys. You know, and Portia gives her little speech as well and it did come off as sincere and I do I have to give her credit right she could have been like oh Dennis did this and that and da 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 but she she kind of somewhat owned her part on it her part right and it it is what it is and the life coach was like look the intention was there you guys 
wanted to come together and heal, but clearly, you know, the actions weren't in alignment with that, but I, you know what, I don't know what the point, I don't know the point the life coach was trying to make, I think she was just trying to, you know, make it nice, right, but it's like, uh, that's a mess, but at the end of the day, they have a daughter together, so they're going to be forced to work this out, they have to, right, I just hope that every time they get into a fight, it's not this toxic because, you know, poor PJ, she's going to see this stuff and you don't want her to think that this is okay or this is normal because then the cycle is just going to continue on, right? Because, you know, PJ is going to be like Simon. Oh, that's nothing. I've seen a lot worse. That's like a two, you know? So it's kind of like what situations or relationships is she going to get in as an adult, right? Because she's going to think, oh, well, you know, this is not as bad because when I was young, my whole family got into a brawl. Like, no, no. So, like the life coach said, you know, you guys, they have to move forward. I don't know if that's what she said, but you guys can't keep doing the same thing. I mean, this was a mess at the end of the day. I'm not... I'm not rooting for anybody in this situation. I'm not. Maybe Aunt Liz. I like Aunt Liz. Oh, Aunt Liz did say that Portia's friends, which is, I guess, Dom, Lauren, or and Storm as well, which is not her friend or cousin. She was kind of saying, oh, they're egging on Portia. And I guess she's kind of biased because, you know, Portia is her blood. I don't think she's related to Storm. She's definitely not related to the assistants, right? But I don't know. I don't think it's... I can't really say, oh, they egged Portia on because Portia was ready to go from the jump. I I don't really think that they did anything, to be honest with you. They really didn't. And at the end of the day, they were able to stay stay seated up to a certain point, right? So they leave Mexico. They go back to Atlanta. And Portia goes over her mom's house, right? Miss Diane. Now, they don't really... I think they said Miss Diane was sick. But it seems like she had some sort of back injury or something of that nature, right? So Portia is sort of catching her up on everything that had happened and of course Portia tells a very heavily edited version you know the version that makes her look like the good guy and Dennis the bad guy and Miss Gina the bad guy right and uh, I don't know right like uh, Portia is hmm (laughs) You know what? My instinct is to say Portia is dumb. I don't think Portia is dumb. I just think that Portia's emotional intelligence is very lacking. I'm sorry. I it, It's so... And I guess this could be anybody. This could be me, right? It's so much easier to clock somebody else's tea, right? Than to kind of look in the mirror and look at yourself, right? When it comes to other people, it's so obvious, but then when it's yourself is you're completely you're completely oblivious and i feel like that's what's going on with portia right and her talking about dennis and him bringing a date and her saying oh yeah he brought that date because he was trying to make no he was trying to show simon that i still cared about him and da 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 da, da and and it's like well if that's what he was trying to do right One, if that's what he was trying to do, and that's what you think he's trying to do, why would you give him that satisfaction of doing what you think he's trying to do? To you. For you to have a reaction. Like, you literally just gave the same reaction. So what are... Oh my god, Portia! (laughs) Like, at this point... Uh, someone commented in one of my videos that like, and I mean, it's very obvious that they still have feelings for each other, that they still did not heal or get over it. I don't know. I don't know what it is exactly. But instead of denying it and pretend that you don't care about him and pretending that there's nothing there, 
maybe it's just time to face that reality. Just look in the mirror and be like, you know what? I may still have feelings for Dennis. Yeah, it does hurt me that he brought a girl on the trip. You know, it is difficult for me to see see him with another woman, right? And Dennis, Dennis could say, yeah, it is difficult, you know, for me to see Portia with Simon because I love her and a part of me is sad that it didn't work out or blah, blah, blah. I feel like if they would just say that to each other, then maybe they would be a little less angry. I'm not saying they should get back together. I don't think they should get back together. At the end of the day, it's not my life, so whatever happens, happens, <laughs> right? Because we know Portia is for the mess. So if they were to get back together, I don't know, right? I'm not, in my opinion, I don't think they should get back together, but I feel like they should just be honest about it. Okay, yeah, you guys still have feelings for each other you know and is that ideal you know is that convenient for Portia because she's engaged no but it's the truth and if it's the truth just deal with it instead of lying and pretending that you don't care because that emotion and feeling it's coming out in other ways that it's that's it's destructive so it's better just to be vulnerable than hostile right but you know, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, listen, I'm not a fan of Simon, but if I was in Simon's shoes, I would be very, very uncomfortable with this situation. I don't know how he's so calm about it, right? I would be very uncomfortable because anybody with eyes, even if without eyes, could see that they still have something. There's still something there. This it's a it's pretty much a mess, right? And it's funny because Simon says that, you know, he's a rescuer. He's a rescuer. And that he did, what, five billion hours of therapy and he's not a rescuer anymore, which is great. We should all go to therapy, right? No issue with that. The funny thing is, is that he's repeating that same thing low-key, right? Even with his speech to the family, right? Like, it came off very rescuer-ish, you know? Like... Oh, I'm gonna, yes, Portia may have money, which is great, right? But just because someone has money doesn't necessarily mean that they have no other issues or problems, right? And it's pretty clear that Portia has her issues, specifically with Dennis. So, I don't know, it, it is kind of rescuer-ish to kind of jump into a relationship with somebody that just got out of another relationship in which they were engaged and just had a child. But then again, Simon just got out of a marriage. So it's just one big mess at this point. So whatever, do what you want. <laughs> Their lives, not mine. Not mine. Right? So after that scene, Portia does meet up with Aunt Liz. And what Aunt Liz is doing is great, you know? And they did show a picture of Portia and her dad and when Portia was little. And Portia, well, PJ, to be honest, PJ looks just like Portia. Like, they look they look just like each other, which makes sense because that's her mom. So, of course, they're going to look alike. Duh. So, moving on. Aunt Liz is just basically saying that, well, she said that she felt that Storm and Dom kind of added to the situation and made it worse or egged her on, which I disagree with. I don't think they helped, but I think Portia was on 10 at 10 from the beginning. So it would be completely unfair to blame them. You know what I mean? But you know, that's her niece or whatever. So of course she's going to have her back. I understand that. Right. But you know, Aunt Liz brought up a great point that listen, you guys have a daughter, so you guys got you got to figure it out. And you can't bring up the cheating thing every time you guys get together. You can't, which is fair. I mean, yes, Dennis was wrong for what he did, right? But at some point, they do have to move on. I mean, they're not together anymore, right? So there's no point arguing about it, blah, blah, blah. If there needs to be one final conversation, maybe not on television, maybe, on, you know, in private, like Aunt Liz said, that 
maybe Dennis, Portia, Simon, and whatever should have got together privately and had certain conversations. The conversation didn't need to be had. It didn't need to be had in front of everybody. It it really didn't, right? And with that, I do agree. Even though I don't necessarily blame Dom and Storm and whatever, but yeah, I mean. Having a difficult conversation like that and everybody chiming in and giving their two cents, it does escalate things, right? So I get that. And yeah, they can bring up the cheating thing every time. He did it fine, right? Like we've all messed up. We've all made a mistake. We've all done stuff to hurt somebody, right? So it's like imagine interacting with that person and every time that you see that person, they throw it back in your face. Like it's just... It's not productive at the end of the day. I'm not saying it's difficult because I can understand why Portia would be upset at that. I'm not saying she can't be upset, but she needs to find a more constructive way to heal from that and express how she feels authentically, right? Maybe to a therapist, (laughs) you know, maybe not to Mama Gina, (laughs) maybe that's not the person to talk about these things because Mama Gina doesn't want to hear it. You know, so it is what it is. I mean, Aunt Liz did give great, give great advice, you know, and it's just, I don't know, Portia's just so immature because she was pretty much like, yeah, I give up with Dennis. I didn't think about healing the relationship with Dennis. I was just over it, right? But after hearing Aunt Liz, I think I'm going to give it a try. What are you talking about? You have a daughter. You can't just be like... Oh, well, like, you gotta, you gotta figure it out. I'm sorry, you gotta figure it out. That's why you don't throw bottles and glasses at people. So, Dennis and his mom have a scene, right? At his hot dog factory. And we get a little bit more tea about what happened with the fight because... I don't know if I missed it, but watching the scene, it was very difficult to see who did what and when, right? But according to Dennis, Portia lunged at Miss Gina. Now, and I guess that started everything, and I guess she lunged at Miss Gina, so he decided he was going to lunge at Portia. Okay, sure. I mean, why not move your mother out the way? Why, like... (sighs) I mean, I don't want to repeat myself, but if someone is lunging at your mom, right? Why not step in front of your mom, protect your mom, and get your mom out of the situation? Why would you then go and attack or try to attack Portia, right? You're, one, a woman. Two, the mother of your child. Three, I mean, there's cameras there. Her family is there, like... Anywho, whatever. I already said what I I had to say. Like, that that shows poor judgment, right? And I don't know. I'm not saying it's not true. But from what I've seen, what I saw, maybe they edited out to protect Portia. I don't know what's going on. I don't, I didn't really see Portia lunge at Miss Gina. Right, especially I don't know if Simon was in the way or there was people in the way kind of blocking her, so I didn't see see all that, and I don't know if Dennis is the most reliable source as well, so I don't know unless we get more information to kind of put everything together. I mean, the information is probably out there in the blog, so actually next episode is the finale so after that I'm gonna like read all the blogs and get the tea I'm like okay what really happened here you know what I mean um yeah so it was just one big mess so to even say who started this or who started that I mean it could have been a misunderstanding I don't know who cares at this point I already said what I had to say right Um, what I do, well, I wouldn't say I like, but I can at least say with Dennis, he does seem a little bit more remorseful than Portia and Miss Gina, to be honest, right? Miss Gina's like, well, she's disrespectful and da-da-da-da-da-da, and it's like, 
I don't know, right? And y- you know, it's funny because when Portia was saying, when Portia was talking to her mom and she was saying that Miss Gina was smiling because she seemed satisfied. Now, I thought Portia was capping a little bit, but then seeing the scene with Miss Gina, I don't know. Now, listen, I'm... Some people smile when they get nervous. Me too. Like, I do smile or have that awkward kind of grin and in certain situations where maybe it's not appropriate. Maybe people can interpret it that, like, I'm happy or I I don't know what it is, right? But so I'm going to give Miss Gina a little bit of the benefit of the doubt because maybe that's just her facial expression. But I don't know. I sort of just get from her energy, like... You know, I can't tell somebody how they should feel, but I don't know. Wouldn't you feel a little bit sad, a little bit disappointed, hurt, you know? Maybe I'm expecting a bit of, you know, tears or something, but it's kind of just very flippant. Like, yeah, she's disrespectful and and it's like, aren't you kind of sad that this is your granddaughter's mother and you guys can't get along like uh you know I don't know something is just it's a little off for me you know what I mean it's a little off it doesn't really seem that it doesn't really seem like Miss Gina want and it's understandable right I'm not gonna (laughs) I'm not gonna say it's not understandable for her to kind of be over Portia but I don't know, I just, I don't get that vibe that she really wanted it to work out with her from the jump anyways. You know what I mean? And I do like that Dennis was like, look, I know I'm your son, I know I'm your quote-unquote baby, but I'm 40 years old. You gotta let me handle situations. You can't get involved because when you get involved, it just makes things a lot worse, right? And I hope Miss Gina listens to what her son is telling her because... He is right. You know what I mean? Like, there's no need for her to get involved. Because at the end of the day, Dennis is the one that cheated and did what he did. Yes, I mean, I get it. You don't like it being thrown in his face. But it's not your place to defend him. He can handle himself. You know what I mean? So it, it is what it is. But like I said, Dennis does seem remorseful. So, I I mean, it's hard to say there's hope because I've seen the preview for next week's episode as well as, you know, the blogs. So, I don't know. I don't have much hope, but they have a daughter together, so they do have to figure it out at the end of the day. Um, And then we, we get another scene with Portia and her assistant, Lauren, I believe, not her sister, but her assistant. <laughs> I guess um, Dennis still had some stuff in Portia's basement, and Simon wants that all gone because Simon doesn't want, you know, any loose ends at, at this point. And I guess he has some dishes, he has some papers, he had a couch, he had. I don't know. I just feel like if Dennis really wanted those things, he would have came and got those things. You know, I feel like he's just storing them in Portia's basement. Right. So I think, you know, Portia's getting these things. I think there's a rush to kind of get these things out of there because, you know, Simon wants those things out of there, which is fair, I guess. Right. Um, Moving on. So poor PJ, poor PJ. She has to have her tonsils removed. Right. And Portia is saying that because she's so young, she's not going to have. She's not going to have the pain relief. Um, she's not going to have... Oh my gosh. This is such an episode I can't even talk anymore. But she's not going to have the pain relievers, right? Because she's so young. So she can't take that medication. And it's like, that's crazy to me. You know? I, oh, I feel so bad for PJ. That means she's going to go through that surgery. Oh my gosh. And she's not going to have any pain medication or nothing. To kind of soothe her. And that's just... Oh my gosh. That's terrible. That's absolutely terrible. I mean, the great thing about reality television, however, it's filmed in it. You know, it's filmed in the past. So we know that PJ is okay and the surgery went well and everything worked out for her. But that's just... That's just so cruel to me. But I get it, you know. But still, ugh. 
poor PJ. Really poor PJ. So everything worked out for her though. I hope she's healthy. She's a she's so adorable. She really is. So yeah. Anyways, guys. I mean, that's a sad note to end the episode on, but this episode wasn't exactly positive anyways. That's everything, guys. Oh, I'll, one last note. I can, I did see a bit of headlines about Storm kind of turning on Portia, which I found, I thought it was a little weird, but I didn't click on the video. But now that I'm seeing everything play out, it seems like they're trying to kind of blame it seems like they're going to try to blame Storm and Dom for the fight, right? And try to make it seem like, oh, they're the ones that are egging everybody on. And I think that's extremely unfair, especially for Storm, because Storm wasn't really too much involved, right? And Dennis was the one that was, I feel like, super triggered by her, by any little thing that she said. So I think that was, I think that's super unfair to kind of, put everything on her sure should she get a little bit I'll give her like two percent but to try to make her responsible for everything I can understand why Storm has an issue I really do right because instead of Portia taking full accountability right because she only she's only taking accountability for the quote-unquote part that she played right so because she's doing that, she needs a fall guy, and it seems like she's making Storm and Dom the fall guy, right? Versus if she took full accountability, she wouldn't really need to place blame anywhere else. So that's pretty messed up to me, and I, under I understand now why Storm would be upset with her. It is what it is. Anyways, guys, that's everything. That's the review. See ya.